David Hayes, he scored a double with Wraparound and Road Song, but lost his imported stayer Rashik when he broke down badly when travelling well at the turn in the Cup. The Cup was a triumph for an 18-year-old apprentice, and the Guineas was won by trainer John Ma, who's got a stable full of Class 3-year-olds. The first today was won by King Marauding, and this is a Class 2-year-old. He was very impressive, this big fellow, scoring at 7-4 favourite. Race 2, and the first win in 12 months for Highly Geared. He set a new course record for the mile, but that was broken later in the day in the Guineas. Northern Biss got the money in the third and overdue victory, coming from third last, just nailing the favourite right on the post. Race four, Wraparound was a hot favourite. The leader at the 200 metre mark, Wraparound about to close, then Industrial Diamond and the rest ahead headed by Steineck, but Wraparound swept to the front now from Welcome Night, who fights on well on the inside, and then Steineck, but it's Wraparound a bit too strong, and at the weights will win it well. Wraparound from Welcome Night, Steineck is third. The Bletchingley mare was well advantaged under the special conditions of the race, dropping a kilo and a half on a wait for age win last start. Welcome Knight and Honest second, and Steineck third. In the Guineas, Enjoy Dancing lost his chance at the start. Racing. Enjoy Dancing very slow to move. Missed it a couple of lengths as a clear last. Enjoy Dancing looking for the way clear and Rapan Boy comes to the outside and further back Bowser struggling on. 2.50 out now and Star Video dash through to hit the front at the 200 at Star Video in front of Laredo alias Combabash. Enjoy Dancing and Rapan Boy at Star Video the leader. Enjoy Dancing trying to reach it but Star Video is going strongly and Star Video an length and a half to Enjoy Dancing. Third placing went to Laredo. I'm very, very pleased that he can get a solid mile. If he can get a mile and a quarter that'd be great but I'm, um, I'm not, not quite sure about him. But he does rest in his races, so he, he may get a mile and a half. Star video, well ridden by Damien Oliver at 5-1, to one, broke the course record. Enjoy Dancing certainly should have given him a real run for his money. The sprint and road song was having her first start since being served by Melbourne Cup winning stallion at Talak. Bar Curra led at the 250 metre mark, two lengths in front of Road Song, who's finishing quickly. Bar Curra the leader from Road Song and then Century Rising. Bar Curra only a half, Road Song coming at it. Road Song and Bar Curra. Road Song the outside going home a bit the better and Road Song got up to win it from Bar Curra. Third placing went to Century Rising. She's in foal to act like, only just in foal, but uh, that's, that was her uh, you know, first run back uh, in foal, so I hope she holds her form. Road song a drifter from 9 to 4 out to 4 to 1, just edged out the 2 to 1 favourite Barcara, Century Rising 7 to 1 third. So to the cup, and 6 of the 11 runners in the market under 13 to 2. But tragedy struck the favoured Rashik at the turn when he broke down hopelessly. The race developed into a thrilling three-way duel. He's broken down Rashik. They're into the straight style. Century, the leader, coming at him as ideal sentiment. On the outside, Frontier Boy, and now Mantelpiece is closing with a good run. 200 metres to go. Across the track they are, and Mantelpiece has raced up to Big Colony and Stylish Century. Mantelpiece, Big Colony and Stylish Century to fight it out. Mantelpiece and Big Colony, Stylish Century fighting back in the middle. A three-way go. Colony doing too well, just won it. Big Colony a nose to start his century. Mantelpiece has run third. Well, it's very exciting. It's um, it's a dream come true. I was sitting up in the stand two years ago, just thinking of how it would be nice to ride a group race, and it's come true. David Taggart, a young man with a big future, has ridden that mare only four times and has won on three occasions. Stylish Century is ready to win. And the last one by Alpine Slopes, written by Stephen Arnold, led all the way, posting very quick time. Today's daily double, 7 and 10, $96.10. The extra, 8 and 7, $28.65. Quadrilla returned $572.95 for triple seven nine. The quad extra for 7, 7, 10 and 6, $4,114.50. And somebody picked the last straight six winners and a booty of $50,000 plus. Ooh, Not a bad day's work, nice, eh? Nice, nice, yes, good. Thanks, Greg. Okay.